Hey, what's up, guys? Dude, 29 back with you, and this is round two with Umbra. Uh, so he's rocking probably a bit more of a competitive team this time. It's not just your classic um, Gen uh, 4 one that he ran last time. This one, he is using uh, the Gyarados. I don't know if it was Mega. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it should have been Mega. Uh, the Azelf, Special Defensive Gudra, uh, Choice Banded, um... Dragonite, Defensive, Kovgrius, and Shadow Tag, Gothitella. So I'm rocking Hippowdon, Jirachi, Mega Gyarados, Scavalier, Zapdos, and Chansey. So I was feeling pretty confident going into this battle that I had a pretty well rounded team that would fare pretty well against him. Like, I wasn't entirely confident because I'm never entirely confident going into battle. So I'm going Hippowdon, and I really should have got a female Hippowdon because it looks so much better when it's shiny, but whatever. I guess I got the teller, and this scared the crap out of me. But then I realized that Hippowdon had Whirlwind, and so I really should have used it this turn, but I decided that this turn, clearly, um, getting, uh, rocks up was more important. I, I was happy having my Hippowdon die to know that I was able to break a multi-scale of a Dragonite, because I didn't see a Defog or a Spinner on his team. Uh, the real puzzling thing, though, was why the hell did Gothitella have Grass Knot? <laughs> we had talked about the move slots for a Gothitella, and it should have... Like, normally, it would not have Grass Knot. Uh, so, the fact that he had it was a bit disheartening, because if he had Hidden Power Ice, I could have lived a couple of those. And then, you know, been able to uh, slack off and Whirlwind and such. But, nah, it doesn't really matter, because I can go into a Scavalier this turn. And if he wants to switch out, then I've got Pursuit. So, get Pursuited. And that's going to die to Rocks next time it comes in. So, that's Gothitella dealt with, and now he gets the free switch into Gyarados, and uh, it turns out that um, he's an Intimidate variant, so he's not Merxy, so that's a little bit relieving. I have no reason to stay in against this thing, though. Um, so, I'm, this is where, I guess, Rotom be handy, but Zapdos is going to have to do right now, because Zapdos is still a bloody good counter to um, Gyarados. Because all Gyarados can really do is just try and set up on it, and then, like, maybe Waterfall. But Zapdos is going to eat that up and then come right back with a T-Bolt. So that's what I'm basically going to threaten him out with. Is the fact that I have the ability to, uh, T-Bolt him. Um, and, I mean, he has no real reason to stay in. And then I realized he's a Mega Gyarados, and I was like, oh, well, great. You know... That's just what I need to see, is a Mega Gyarados coming out. And I figured that the T-Bolt from, um, from Zapdos would be able to kill from here. I really did. So he's going to drag it out again. And I was like, are you kidding? What did you think I was going to do? He thought that maybe I was going to try and phase him out. No. He gets greedy. And so I'm going to do a Life Orb Thunderbolt on him. And that's going to easily kill this Gyarados. Easily. So I don't know what Umbra was thinking there. I think he just... You know, thought maybe my Zapdos wasn't going to do anything special. But, yeah, just absolutely slayed that Gyarados. And so he's going to go to Azelf now. And I really didn't know what to make of this Azelf. I've never really battled Azelfs before. You know, they were normally just really big in Gen 4 and have been in Gen 5. Um, I'm going to go back into a Scavalier, though, because I figure that this thing doesn't really have anything to threaten a Scavalier with. And if he wants to switch out, I've got the Pursuit again. But I decided this time, I think, to go for the knockoff. Um, because he's going to go for the U-turn anyway. I figured, eh, that's okay. I don't need to pursue this as off either. Um, I can just go for a knockoff. But I really should have gone for the pursuit, because he's just going to go into Gothitella and let it die. So that was a bad play on my part. I really should have, because pursuit still works, even if they U-turn out, because there's any form of switching. So that kind of sucked for me, that I could have basically killed the Azelf before the Azelf did any damage. But he's going to go out to Dragonite now. I didn't know what this thing was going to do. I wasn't sure if it was going to, like, have Fire Punch or not. So I decided to play it safe and go out back into my Zapdos. Because there's my defensive wall. This thing's going to eat up hits all day. And uh, Rock's damage sucks, though. But uh, I got Defog. So, you know, whatever. He goes with the Fire Punch. And this shows me that he has Fire Punch. Uh, it makes me aware... He's going to withdraw his Dragonite, which is fine by me. Um, I have no problem with that. He's going to go into Gudra. And this is really the turn for me to roost. If I was ever going to roost on a turn, this was the one. But I just had to go for a T-Bolt, because, yeah, I got greedy too. So, I know that my Zapdos will die. So, my plan was basically just to T-Bolt again. 
and hope for a paralysis on the Gudra, which unfortunately I did not get, which means the Gudra can just come back with a Fire Blast. And that was really risky. I was like, Gudra with the Fire Blast? I don't know if he predicted me to switch because I couldn't with rocks. I mean, I could have just gone for um, recovery, but I decided to play it safe. So I go into Jirachi. And I know that Jirachi can basically one on one deal with this Gudra. Even though it has Fire Blast, it's not really a threat to me. So he's going to switch out back into Kofagrigus, and this is where I was a little bit worried. I figured, this Kofagrigus is a problem. How am I going to deal with it? So I go for the Iron Head, and it's going to do nothing. And I lose my Serene Grace, which was a little bit annoying. A little bit. Uh, but I knew that I could just switch out this turn, and I figured he doesn't really have any recovery move, so why not go out to Chansey? My big fat Chansey. And uh, the Rock's damage is, like, not pleasant. He's going to go for a will and I was like, on a Chansey? Sure, I'll go for it. Um, I wasn't too fussed, though. I mean, Chansey's eating that up, and then I can just go for a Wish and uh, heal myself next turn, uh, which is great for me. And this was really the time, though, if he ran, which he doesn't, he runs Toxic Spikes, which is a bit of a surprise to me, but if he ran um, Pain Split, this was probably the time to do it, because, I mean, Pain Split against a Chansey, you're definitely going to get all your health back. I went for the Toxic, and unfortunately I miss, which frustrated the hell out of me that I was able to miss. Looking at my team, though, nothing really worries about Toxic Spikes when I look at it. Um, well, the ones that are left, at least. I think there's, like, one Pokemon. I can't remember exactly who it is, but they worry about it. So I'm going to go for Toxic again, and he's going to go out to his Elf. Because I was like, damn, can't believe. If that Toxic had hit the Covergrigus, my life would have been so much easier. I decided to wish, because I figure that my chance is going to live this turn. Uh, you know, it's sitting at about 90% HP. So he's going to go for the Ice Punch, and I'm eating that up. I'm a Chansey. I mean, come on, dude. I'm going to Seismic Toss you. I love the animation for Seismic Toss. It's pretty awesome. And then just watching him go, like, face first onto the arena. It's always golden. So my wish comes true. I'm healing up. And I figure, well, these Seismic Toss are doing a fair bit. So what's he going to do? He's going to explode. And I was like... Wah! what are you doing? I'm like, Chansey is not eating that up. But somehow I did. I have no idea how, but Chansey lived. It was a crit as well. That was probably why. Uh, not that I lived, but uh, the burn is going to end up killing me. And so Chansey basically gets undone by a critted explosion, which came out of nowhere. He's going to go into D9, and I make a really bad play. I go into Scavalier. And I forget, I don't really forget, I just figure that he knows that I got a Gyarados on board. So I was probably going to switch that as the obvious switch. But I tried tricking him and going for the knockoff. That didn't work at all for me. So Scavalier gets a Fire Punch to the face. Um, which uh, wasn't, you know, great. So I decided to go to Jirachi because, again, this thing is a problem for his team. Um, so he's going to have to withdraw again. And I was like, that's fine. Go out to Kofagrigus. And that thing is taking decent damage now, and I know that I can just now iron head and threaten this Kofagrigus because I'm pretty sure it's two more hits to kill it, and if I get one more flinch, then this Kofagrigus is going to go down. So I was kind of hoping for the flinch, praying for the flinch here, and instead he goes for the will -O's. And I was like, oh, great. I have no way of, you know, stopping this will -O's from happening, but I wasn't too worried because... I knew that from here, I'm pretty sure the Iron Head still killed. And luckily for me, it did. So I was pretty stoked about that, because now Kofagrigus is out of here. And that means that he's basically got Dragonite, and I think one other Pokemon left. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, Gudra. So Gudra wasn't too much of an issue. I knew there was a Fire Blast coming at some point, but I did want to take the risk going into my Dra um, Gyarados and getting T-Bolted. So I decided to play it safe, and I ended up avoiding... A fire blast. So that was pretty fortunate for me because now I'm going to be able to go for another Iron Head. I mean, I don't have Serene Grace anymore, but you know, the flinches are still 30%. But I don't get the flinch again. There goes the fire blast. That's going to kill my Jirachi. And that basically means that it, I think it goes down to now a 1v2 with the one of mine being Gyarados. But this is a sexy red Gyarados uh, Lake of Rage. Uh, powerful machine of a beast. 
that is now going to mega evolve all in this Gudra's face. And I figured, you know what, if he wants to switch to Dragonite, that's a silly play by him. And all I really need to do this turn is just EQ this Gudra and get it out. So I decided to do that. Nice and easy Earthquake. Out goes Gudra. And now with Gudra out of the way, I can basically just, you know, go one-on-one -on -one against this Dragonite. And looking at how much health that actually had left, I figured that the Gyarados using an Iron Head from here would kill. I don't know why I run Iron Head. I really need to replace it with something else. I'm going to replace it with Taunt. It just had Iron Head when I first got it. So anyway, that's going to be the battle. So I end up taking it clutch 1-0. Losing... <sighs> losing Hippowdon, Escavalier, and Chansey really cheaply in the end as well. So it was a good battle, Umbra. Um... You'll see a lot more of him in battles. He'll also be doing some commentary with me, hopefully in the future when we do showdown battles. But yeah, remember guys to like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Love hearing your thoughts. Love um, having you guys actually you know, appreciate what I'm doing. That's always awesome. So anyway, um, let's get on to the next one. Bazooka29, signing out.